What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, and today we're going to create this awesome halftone chrome effect for a logo. Now, I was inspired by an Instagram account called Made by Gray, and I checked out one of his reels where he was showing how to do this, but the reel was super fast, so I kind of created my own version and made some adjustments and gave it the poster grind effect. So without further ado, let's make this. <laughs> what? All right, let's get this going. Go ahead and type out whatever word you want to work with or drop in a logo. The world is your oyster. Today, this font I'm using is called Broken Script OT. And once you have that ready to go, select the layers you're going to be working with. Hit Command G to create a group. The cool thing is we're going to use all of our effects and layer styles in the group so that we can keep our type below live in case we have to make any adjustments to the typography. So once you have your group, go ahead and double click it and that's gonna bring up your layer styles. And you can basically copy these layer styles that I'll be using now and then go back in and tweak them as you need. So for now, go ahead and check off bevel and emboss. And then within bevel and emboss, your style is gonna be stroke emboss Technique smooth. Your depth, you can go pretty high. So we're gonna go with, let's say 400%. Direction up. Our size is gonna be 50. Our soften is gonna be zero. Our angle 90. Use global light, 30 degree altitude. And then this gloss contour is gonna be these little teeth. And you can check anti-aliased. Highlight mode will be screen on white. Opacity 75%. Shadow mode, multiply on black, opacity 75%. Now let's go ahead and kick, click contour. So our contour, we're just gonna switch it to this one. And then our range, we're gonna put this all the way to 100. Now let's go to the stroke. So you're gonna check off stroke. Size will be 17. Position center, blend mode normal, opacity 100. Fill type gradient. And then on your gradient, I just went ahead and made this one earlier. You can go from black to white and then just drop it to the left a little bit with a gray. Then the style will be linear, align with layer, and the angle at 24 degrees. Scale 100 method perceptual. Now let's go ahead and check inner shadow. So on inner shadow, overlay can be black at 49 or 50 percent whatever 90 degree angle distance 41 pixels choke zero size 54 and then on your contour you're going to want to use this little s curve and then the noise you can leave at zero now let's go to inner glow on inner glow we're going with overlay opacity 52 noise 95 percent and then we're going to check off black technique softer source edge choke zero percent size 250 and then on the quality we'll have just a contour like this and our range at 50 percent with zero percent jitters now let's go to satin go ahead and check that and then on satin we're going to leave it at black with an opacity of 40 percent angle at 90 50 percent distance i mean 50 pixel distance size 59 and then the contour is gonna be this little guy here. And you can check both anti-alias and invert, and invert off. Now, if you guys have learned anything up until this point, please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Now let's go to color overlay. So for color overlay, I just kept it on normal and you can use pretty much whatever color you want, but we wanna have some variance. And you can go ahead and use whatever you want with our values. Then let's go to gradient overlay. And on gradient overlay, you can keep it normal, 100%. And then on the gradient, I just picked one that I had already installed in my gradient editor. And it basically looks like this. So I have darks on both ends with some, with some uh, lighter colors in between, kind of like this gold. So if you wanna try and do something like that, you can go ahead and do that. Obviously you can experiment. Go ahead and check align with layer, style linear, angle negative 85, scale 150 percent, then hit OK. 
Now, like I was saying, since this is our group, anything in our group is going to be affected by our layer styles. So you can move your things around or your, you can move your type around or drag in other type or logos and it's going to create that same effect for everything. Now, let's go ahead and add our halftone. So I'm going to go new layer and then I'm going to hit shift delete and I'm going to make sure that our 50% gray is active. Hit OK. Then I'm going to hit X on my keyboard and then hit D and then go to filter, filter gallery. And then in filter gallery, I have halftone pattern and reticulation activated. So on halftone pattern, I had a size of two, contrast 30. And then in reticulation, which is going to distort it a little, density three, foreground level 11, background level five. Hit OK. Now I'm going to switch the blending mode from normal to overlay. Yeah, overlay. I'm going to do a layer of noise just in case. So I'm going to hit option on my keyboard, this little plus sign. Then I'm going to name it noise. And I'm going to go to mode, overlay, fill with overlay neutral color 50%. Hit OK. Then I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise and then adjust the noise a little bit. I'm gonna click monochromatic. So I have the noise at 16. Now I'm gonna do one more adjustment layer for the levels. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Then my next adjustment layer will be threshold. So I'm gonna to go to threshold, and then on threshold, it's gonna really tweak it. But I wanna to go to my levels too, so you'll be able to adjust so that's all looking pretty cool, but I wanna go back into my layer effects and make some adjustments. So I'm gonna to go to my group, double click, go to my layer styles, and see if we can kind of make this a little different. Yeah, so that color overlay is a little too strong and I don't think we need it. So we're just gonna turn that off because I want to have kind of a more, th more half tones on this bottom. And I think that's what this gradient is starting to achieve. Now I'm just gonna mess around with the levels again. Now I'm just going to paint in some highlights. So I'm gonna to go to exposure, increase the exposure. Then I'm gonna hit Command I on the mask, invert, and then painting with a white brush. I'm just gonna paint in a little bit like that. One of my last steps here is I'm just gonna kern these letters a little bit get this T and E to separate like that. And then I'll give this breathing room to the E up here as well. And then the last move is I picked up this texture from Texture Labs and I'm just gonna add that to the bottom. And then I'll just go ahead and add a little drop shadow like so. There you go guys, we've created this halftone chrome typography effect in Photoshop. I hope you like this. I'll see you on the next video.